Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Convincing. Let's convince ourselves to get into this here. And I know that when I've been playing here, I've been a little uh, hesitant to get into some of the bigger monsters that are involved, like the Lynels, the uh, the Taluses, the even the frogs. We haven't even seen them yet. And uh, yeah, seeing them, we need to. I need to stop being such a chicken. And I do need some of those, uh, especially the uh, Lynels. I definitely need some scales and some horns and all that great stuff so we can upgrade the armors that we got. As I was streaming offline, I did pick up the Barbarian armor, so we are going to have a little bit of an advantage with that. But with that being said, let's get to her here. So like I said, I did do some off off scene grinding here. I did beat two Lynels, so we did manage to get one piece of armor upgraded so far. As you're going to see here, uh, some of our weapons are a little worse for wear. Where's our clothes? There we are. So we do currently have the Barbarian Armor. We've only been able to upgrade the, uh, the chest piece to a level 2. I'd like to get the other two up as well. Just because... You know, try to get all, the, all this up because then... Your attack up works that much better. In weapons, we've started getting Lionel bows. Like, I got two Lionel bows. Got the Great Eagle bow, a duplex bow. These Royal Guard bows, they're real strong. I did find that I do need to get back one of my... Uh, one of the Zonite bows so we can do some other projects here, but... We do have the Forest Dweller's Shield, the, basically the Korok Shield, uh, up right now, so that'll help out a little bit. Then a bunch of big, bigger uh, shields and whatnot, so. But let's, uh, you know what? We're probably going to have to go down here to fix everything up here for ourselves. Where do we want to go first? Like, eventually, this is where we're going to end up as we go along. Because, let's face it, Ganon's down there. But, uh... I think our best bet to get to the depths right now... We're eventually going to have to hit up some villages here and uh, or some stables to get some of these Lynels. So I think there's nothing better right now than just hop over to Ka Kakariko here and uh, pop down there that way. Anywhere where there's a stable, there's a Lynel. So... And I do believe they might be Silver Lynels there. Either way, I think it's best that we get down there and just get to work here. Oh, that's right. I can't use... Uh Hmm. 
Who's screaming at me? To stop raiding here, that we have to worry about stuff, so. Ah, a new area we haven't been in yet. There's the chasm right there. Hi there. Come all the way here to see the ring ruins. I'll be. Watch your step, though. Chasm personally, gloom. <laughs> if you just can't help yourself, gloom wise, look for our resident gloom specialist, Eba, by the tents. Anyhow, Chief here is determined to keep the ruins open for viewing. Just steer clear of the stone stabs and the ring ruins. Can't replace those. Fire, water, lightning, time, and light. That's it. Say that people with powers could use to amplify them. Secret stones provide great deeds. As we completely get off track right to start the show... Stone slab, Eastern Ring Ruins, some translation notes, wind, flame, fire, lightning, time, light. Who holds the power of secret stone and the person dwell within power, amplify, great might display. The thrust of the message on this slab is something to do about secret stones. Those who have the power of wind, fire, lightning, and light and time amplified with secret stones. They used to attain great and accomplish their great goals. So I might be guessing the Savior read the whole thing. Of course, there's a whole camp over there of skies. Well, I really don't need to deal with you guys right now. I'll just swing around here. Before we jump in the depths, we'll see if there's anything worth catching up with over here. Because there is a lot of this map I just plain old haven't gone through, right? Any stupid... Korok setups here? Probably up at the top of this hill. Whenever you come up to a random hill, always go to the top of it. Because you never know when there'll be some crazy rock formations somewhere here. Crowder! 
Good to see you today, Sa. Things are going good. Just got started here today. Uh, basically, goal today is to go find some Lionels and beat them up. Uh, and basically just get ready, because I think, as much as I keep saying next week, I think it is actually going to be next week that we're going to take out Yul Ganondorf. Or at least try to. I was like, where did you go? But yeah, other than that, uh, ran a little late because I was just trying to get everything done before they shut the water off at my apartment today. Uh, they're doing some repairs to the water lines, so. So which way are we headed? I think we're making a hard left here. Oh, just for a couple hours. They're just doing the, uh, the override taps, so. Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe a couple hours. Tops. all these chasms here I doubt that we're gonna be able to get in there huh <laughs> maybe it's just me but is that all gloom over there I guess we're not going that way for the moment. Guess this way is a little bit more clear. yeah just uh like it's gonna be nothing crazy overall but still enough that you know it just drives you nuts so Other than that, life's going good. Just working on uh, getting things straightened out. New, uh, with the new overlay and such. Just little pieces at a time. Just working on it, trying to get it all in one piece. Yeah. Well, we got a wide open space over here.
That's a nice little river there. So the village is directly below us here. Oh, and with this water, we're not going to be able to get past here, so. Or maybe we are. Well, at least they directed some stuff for us here. You knew eventually they'd have to come up with something to attack us with, right? down here stuck in the little ditch Yeah, let's see if we can, uh... Because my ultimate goal is to get over to, uh... Oh, yeah, we've already been over here. As you can tell by the bright bloom seeds we've already planted. This is the ultimate direction we want to go. Ah, here we go. Shock key, so always great. <laughs> Go away. So those little guys, they actually eat uh, zone, eat the bright bloom seeds. So for everything you put down, they, you basically got to replant. Those little f mini frocks there. So I'm assuming there's something big over here. Yeah. You idiot. That's why I hate these extra guys. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't break it. All right, got to find something else to break it with. Ah, oh, here we are. Ah. Thank you. That's what partners are for, right? I hate the electric stuff so much. The hell is that? Oh, the marble goma. We already dealt with him once before. Do we really want to deal with him again? Why not? All the world hates a coward. Help if I had a weapon that was a little stronger than that. Well, Arm your stupid legs a couple more times here. What are you doing for option two now? There's no ceiling now.
guess it's a nice little variation of what he does. I guess that helps the tool in. We're learning new techniques all the time here. This is why we only have the one. I don't care, I'll use a bigger on Fierce Deity Sword. There we go. Damn it! I tried to run. There we go! Goodbye, good night, and goodbye forever! I have to say, Marble Goma has to be the easiest one of the bunch. Of the four, because I know that we we're having some fun with uh, El Mudo there. Oh, there we go. Now that's a weapon. I know it's a little damage, but that should keep it going for a while now. That's what they give us. Ah, an extra shot for our battery. I like it. I forgot that all these bosses do that, so. So now we got 10 minutes to wait while the Master Sword uh, heals up again. And for the record, that's 10 he real minutes, not 10 yeah. artificial ones. Let's grab the Puff Shrooms before we... Ooh, Soldier's Claymore, undamaged. Thank you, my friend. I always appreciate you. Huh? 
So this is the area we lit up. Stone Peblet? We're working on the compendium one piece at a time here. Yeah, ultimate goal is to get over to that... Uh, Bright bloom seed that we saw earlier there. I think this is probably the right way to go. But I guarantee there are going to be some obstacles in our way here, so... I see Pose over there, so that always is a good sign, but... So that's probably the road we're going to have to take because there's something over there. Yeah, there's definitely something over there, especially with those uh, robots scoping everything out over there, or those Zonite bots. But the pose do usually lead you in a pretty good direction to where you need to go. There is a set down there, but I'm a little scared to go down there. And I did see one giant Poe up here somewhere. Might have been up on those trees. I love that they always give you a path up here. You just have to find it.
Guess we could have just done a send to get up there, but... Oh! Let's see what we got down there. Construct 2! Well, I said we were going after some bigger, badder things here. There's a ton of pose over there for it, so... And the key block is right there, too, so... Might be able to get away with this somehow. Where's our Lionel bow here? There we go. No, use a big eagle bow. What am I talking about? All right, all the world hates a coward. Let's go. Damn it. Where the hell are you? Ah, damn it, missed it. That's all I'm supposed to do is just take a ride with him. After he hit me, it doesn't count. Great.
And while he's stuck like that, he can't get away. Let's... There we go. Le construct le toast. I am getting a lot better at this than I used to be. And what poor weapon do I have here that... Actually, this ruby spear, I will take it. Since it's extra durable, we have now made a level 28 throwing spear. I'm just really surprised there wasn't anything extra for us here. So normally you get like a big chest or Why does it look like Link's walking with a limp? Is it because he has that weapon on him? Sorry, I'm running around the outside here looking to see if there's anything extra. Like, you would think with the Flux Construct too, you would get a, uh, like a chest or something with it, but... I think it was just so we can get access to this other area. Anything down there? No. I think we're probably going to have to climb up this way just to get over to that one. One shroom that we were looking at. Oh, muddle buds. One of my favorite tools as we're going along here. Wow, did we get off of track? There's the light room we were looking at, and that's exactly opposite of where we were planning on going, but you know what? We're already on our way here. Let's Like I said, the eventual goal here is to pick up a Lionel or two. I was going to say, we were just here. We just went down the other way.
Okay, so they're just leading us in a direction towards that light route. That makes sense. Let's go hit up all these poses, because... Because, damn it, we need pose to get some more... Some more of our more interesting weapons here. Ooh, we got another free weapon. I like this. All right, let's see what else we can get here. A very shiny traveler's claymore. I wish there was an auto grab. That's one of the things I went with this game here. Okay, so there's a way to get up over there. See if there's much more to dig up over here before the River of Gloom shows up. Always in the mood for some good muddle bud flowers and whatnot. Seems like a wall there, so. Just have to work on getting our way up here. Get high up on a tree, get that. Ooh. It's a bit of a trek. Make sure I stay out of the gloom as I'm going up here. Once again, another another crack in between. remember how to deal with those properly now. Yeah. 
All right, looks like we're climbing up again. Watch us be completely off track. We're right underneath it. Let's see if this will work. <laughs> ho ho! Just randomly out of nowhere, we'll find a light route. Let's go. This should open up a whole big area for us here. We'll have to see. That's actually a pretty big chunk, if you ask me. No hearts to worry about. Let's take a look at this map now in our general. That's actually a pretty big chunk, if you ask me. There is something pinned down here. Oh, that's the bargainer? That wouldn't be the bargainer statue. But there is something over there, so... I'm assuming because of that wall, we're not going to be able to get over there because. Well, lordy, lordy, look what we found. Another light route, which. Matches up with a shrine we haven't got to yet. Like we said, chat, this game's all about exploring. So let's see we let's see where we're gonna end up over here. I just see that large, uh, thought I saw a large one there. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's right up there on top of everything else. My God, that's a bit of a climb. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to find a we Oh, there we go. Hello. Hello, Pose. You look a little lost. Let me take you to your home. So, the other reason why I grabbed these Pose is because as we do them... We uh, will actually be able to... trade in for bit for weapons that we've already had destroyed 
Through the Bargainer statues? That looks like an actual... That looks like a branch. I guess we are relatively close to Hyrule Castle, so that actually makes a lot of sense. Because essentially that's where all this gloom's coming from, right? So while we're not actually in a fight right now, I might actually do something that might have been smart enough to do a while ago. Change into the miner suit. Where's my glow-in-the-dark vest? It's a rubber armor, which I don't need. There it is, radiant shirt. There, we got a free light now. The hell? Oh, it's a Sheikah temple. Great. Don't fuck this up for me, guys. These deep fireflies, I'm going to help to actually upgrade my outfit. I think it's actually the one I'm wearing right now. I was just short deep fireflies to upgrade it, so... Oh, and that light reach just over there. Oh my. Just a little pit of gloom in between. Where's my buddy here? That's the one I wanted. Actually, before I get crazy here. I actually want to switch back to one of my other bows, because... I'm really surprised one of these isn't coming alive right now. Ooh. Let me collect these poses and then I'll hop onto that light route immediately here. Oh. 
Get off of me. Tagarook. I thought we did a, uh, did a shrine with the opposite name, but obviously not at this point. So hello everybody, for anybody that's been asking, we are, my original goal today was to go after some Lionel to upgrade my Barbarian armor to get ready for next, I say next week, I hope it's next week, I plan on it to be next week. That we finally take on Ganondorf, but... Uh, but it ends up that we always... We found a couple shrines and now we're just opening up this map big time. So look at this! We're all cleaned up, so we're good there. So what's over here that we're supposed to face? Because this looks just weird, guys. Like, with all due respect, it opened Coliseum with nobody to attack. Unless there's somebody right above here that we haven't faced yet, that could be it too. Because what do we have here? Quanta Shelf? Hmm, I'm not sure. Just see if we can spring a trap here. Because, yeah, there's no chest here or anything yet, so... There must be something that we haven't beaten yet that we have to face again. But again, I see another light route, so... Unless we literally went in a complete circle here. Which, that totally could be possible at this point. And since we're seeing bright blue seeds all over the place here, I am assuming that we probably did. Oh, his buddy decided to show up. Yeah, like, I assume that there's going to be something over there.
I see the large Poe. Maybe we can find a way to get to it here. Oh, I see Zonite. And a motorboat. And yes, I do know that I could use... Uh, I could use uh, Unobo for all this, but for me, I just find it easier just to do that. That's why I got all these cheesy weapons here, right? Climb onto these pads. There we go. It's got to be gentle to find the right spot, right? Okay, so the five poses is important, as always. Where'd that light root go? It's right there. I think that's a light route we just hit, is it not? Yep. We literally just went in a circle. Because I remember this path very well. Oh, there's two. That's why. Because there's that one, and then there's the one on the other side. That's what I was seeing over there. Well. Let's go get this other one. While we're here. Just a great opportunity here just to open up the map a little bit, get us a little more of a view. It's a lot of stuff you'd be doing in New Game Plus, right? Like the, just to finish things off. To get your 100% as it were. As you can probably tell, I'm not really 100% worried about that part, but...
Ooh, more free weapons. Gotta love more free weapons. Soldier spear. I'll fuse something to that in a sec here, just to... I noticed the music changed a little bit. I wonder if I'm in a nice little good spot here. I just don't like dealing with electric keys, period. You shock away all the stuff that I have. Oh, that's why. Hey, fishy, fishy, fishy. When the dragon pops by, you get to hear the special music. That's cool. Eventually, what I like to do is hop on one of these dragons to get their scales. That actually is really cool, how they change the music like that. Oh, I already got this one. Where am I? Holy crap, I'm way over here. What's that in here? I'm assuming that's a level three. You guys see what I see? I see a purple one there. Oh, this is right that Sheikah area there. Oh yeah, we've been here before. Got him. We've been here before, but I don't think I actually got to this. 
Oh yeah, we did actually get to that one, so. Okay, so the, the major snowfield. So is this the Octora? Oh no, that's... He's a two as well, so... He actually wouldn't be that bad to beat up as well. So we've gone... So, in other words, everything I've wanted to do today, we've done in a complete... Circle about. Stupid. Two more hits and we got him. Unfortunately, he's gonna do this flying garbage now. Bingo. That was a lot easier than it used to be. A frost emitter, okay. All right, so we could upgrade our battery twice now. Now, yeah, what weapon do I want to upgrade? I think I might actually, I might just go with a stick. No, we're going to get something good later, so. Wish I had something Zonai to use on it, but. Yeah, let's go with this one. 42 attack. We are lined up with those. A spear and a... Spear and a sword. I like that. Alright, let's keep back to the rock hammer. Once again, nothing free for it, just a free core.
Oh yeah, the village is over here. I I love the fact that we went big game hunting and we ended up we ended up doing some big games, but not exactly the ones we were looking for. How is it that we have two of these right next to each other like this? Did we literally activate both of them or just one of them? That's the... That can't be that far away. Is the map that crazily at the scale here? Yes, it is. Wow. Yeah, this is weird how that map is just that out to scale. We got a couple fingers down so far. I guess the only thing we can do is really go this way. Ice keys. Ugh. Oh, there's another light route right down there. I guess the big thing we can do right now is open up the map a little bit. I'll see if I can... Based on how much I've been doing here, I'm going to see if I can farm some Lynels maybe off stream. Because if I get four Lynel horns... You idiot. You scared him away. So yeah, that's the next light route I see over here. And I would like to, uh... Maybe find a way to smack it down and get it up for us. Yeah, if I can make it up there, I should be able to get a good... Good trip over there, I might actually be able to make it. I got lots of stamina to get over there. I don't want to try jumping, because jumping might be a problem here. But before we head off to see uh, ye old uh, Ganondorf, we definitely will go see the Bargainer statue and see who we can upgrade or recover. Oh. 
Nope, that was dumb. I gotta get over this other branch here in the middle. There is a reason they set these up this way. It's actually very smart. They make sure you climb up all the way up to this pad. You do have to practice a lot of patience too, right? I could just go here. Thought I saw a large Poe up here. You tricking me again. Dang it. All right, well, we see a light route. Sometimes I hate this game. Sometimes I love this game. Who am I kidding? I've been playing it for five months. I know that I love and hate at the same time. Light, light route's way out there. Oh! He's up there. You know what? Let's go farm some more Poes before we go see him. Yeah, as you can see by this, there are a lot of pose available. I love this miner's outfit. <laughs> we got two shrines dead ahead of us here. Yeah. And that is... So we pretty much are at the top of where we need to be right now. My big thing is I don't want to fall off of here because who knows what kind of headache we're going to be dealing with right away.
I don't see that other one now because it must be higher up at a different angle. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Let's get a little view of what we're dealing with here. Them be a lot of climbing to deal with. Which reminds me. I should be able to make it without a problem. I do have gloom resistant outfit, but I like the uh, ability to see a little bit more than the gloom resistance. I've picked up two of the three outfits. I, getting the third might ne near be impossible unless you get all three rings of stamina. Because literally you have to go to the under crest of the world to get there, so... Because that basically it opens up one piece of clothing every second bargainer statue. You can die. Thank you. I believe the light route's right there. If I've calculated everything right. Plus the fact we're starting to see a little vegetation, so... There it is. actually doesn't care I don't care if I end up under the uh I actually don't care if I actually get caught in gloom there because I get it refilled anyway right now so it just I don't know why I was worried about that I'm assuming this is the light route directly below the ocean because if that's the case the other one is uh the other one we might not be able to reach from where we are
What in the world's that plus sign down there?